As we reach the later stages of life, between the ages of 60 to 80, mastering certain wisdom can significantly enhance our happiness and sense of fulfillment. The journey of life, filled with triumphs and challenges, has already taught us many lessons. Ancient wisdom reminds us, do not be troubled by past events. The rest of life is only for laughter. At this stage, we should no longer be weighed down by regrets or unfulfilled ambitions. Instead, we can cultivate a mindset that cherishes the present and embraces the future with optimism. For those entering or already in this golden period of life, the following eight life wisdoms are essential. They guide us toward inner peace, physical health, and a happier life, offering profound insights on how to live openly, freely, and without the burdens of the past. Whether you are seeking tranquility in your mind or vitality in your body, these tips can pave the way toward a richer, more joyful experience of old age. 1. Break with the past and embrace a better self. The passage of time brings with it not just wisdom, but also a sense of liberation, a release from the constraints of our younger selves. As we age, one of the greatest gifts we can give ourselves is the freedom to let go of past grievances, mistakes, and unfulfilled aspirations. This doesn't mean we forget or dismiss our past, but that we learn to make peace with it. By the time we reach our 60s or 70s, we've accumulated decades of experiences, memories, achievements, and yes, even failures. But clinging to past glories or regrets can hinder our growth in the present. For instance, many people find themselves holding onto a youthful image of success, be it career accolades, societal recognition, or physical prowess. These ideals, though valid at the time, may no longer serve who we are now. This is why it is crucial to reassess and redefine our sense of self. Perhaps you once defined yourself by your career, earning titles, accolades, and recognition. In retirement, however, this identity might feel distant or irrelevant. Instead of feeling lost, view this as an opportunity to embrace a new identity. Someone who is wise, free of unnecessary burdens, and capable of exploring new interests. Likewise, letting go of past grievances and resentments can be a healing process. Think back on the things you held tightly to in your youth, those grudges, perceived slights or wrongdoings. Ask yourself, is it still worth carrying the emotional baggage? The answer is often no. Forgiving others, and more importantly forgiving ourselves, is an essential step in breaking with the past and opening ourselves up to new experiences in the future. In letting go of the past, we also make space for healthier habits in our daily lives. This brings us to the next important point, how we fuel and nurture our bodies. 2. Scientific eating, not just simple meals. With age comes a shift in how our bodies process food. As metabolism slows down, nutritional needs change. This is why a balanced and scientifically informed diet becomes crucial. Many people believe that eating lightly as they age means cutting down on portions or opting for an exclusively vegetarian diet. While moderation is important, the body requires a wide array of nutrients to function optimally, especially in old age. As we get older, maintaining muscle mass and bone density becomes more difficult. Therefore, proteins, such as those found in fish, eggs and lean meats, are essential in preserving strength and vitality. Similarly, vitamins and minerals, which are abundantly found in fruits and vegetables, help maintain immune function and overall health. However, neglecting to include enough healthy fats or carbohydrates can lead to energy dips and poor cognitive function. One of the most common misconceptions among older adults is that simple meals are always the healthiest. While it's true that light and easily digestible food is often easier on an aging digestive system, meals should still be varied and nutrient dense. For instance, reducing red meat is advisable but it's important to replace it with other protein sources rather than eliminating it altogether. 
Healthy fats, such as those from avocados, nuts and olive oil, support brain function and cardiovascular health. At the same time, each individual's dietary needs may vary depending on their health conditions, activity levels, and genetic predispositions. Consulting with a healthcare provider or a nutritionist to create a tailored eating plan can make all the difference in living a healthy and vibrant life. Remember, eating well is not just about nourishment, but also about pleasure. Savoring the act of preparing and enjoying a well-balanced meal can enhance both physical health and emotional well-being. While physical health is vital, mental and emotional balance is equally important as we grow older. One of the best ways to achieve this is by adjusting how seriously we take life. 3. Understand that life should not be taken too seriously. One of the secrets to happiness, especially as we age, is learning not to take life too seriously. This may sound counterintuitive, especially in a world that often emphasizes perfectionism, responsibility, and constant self-improvement. However, as we grow older, the realization dawns that many of the things we once considered so important, career successes, societal status, or material possessions, are not what ultimately bring us happiness. There's an old saying, it is rare to be muddled. This phrase carries deep wisdom, suggesting that a certain level of tolerance and leniency toward life's imperfections can actually bring peace. It means accepting that sometimes it's okay to be confused, to not have all the answers, and to let go of the need to be constantly in control. For instance, Imagine you've planned a gathering with friends, but things don't go according to plan. Maybe the food isn't perfect, or there's an awkward conversation. Instead of stressing about these small mishaps, consider laughing at the situation and appreciating the company of those you care about. Being muddled in this sense means recognizing that not everything has to go perfectly for it to be a meaningful experience. A powerful technique for managing stress and anxiety is to pause and take three deep breaths. When you're faced with a frustrating or upsetting situation, step back and ask yourself, is this really that important? Will this matter five years from now? This shift in perspective can help you realize that many of the things we fret over are not worth the emotional toll. Letting go of rigid ideas of right and wrong and accepting life as it comes can make your days lighter and more enjoyable. In addition to a mental shift, old age also requires a change in how we engage with the world around us. Learn to be a quiet observer. As our energy levels naturally decline with age, the need to slow down becomes more apparent. But slowing down doesn't mean withdrawing from life. Rather, it's an opportunity to take on the role of a quiet observer. This does not signify passivity, but reflects a deeper, more reflective way of engaging with the world. In younger years, we may have been caught up in competition, striving for success in our careers or constantly comparing ourselves to others. But as we grow older, we can find peace by stepping back and observing life without feeling the need to constantly participate or prove ourselves. By simply observing the beauty in everyday life, whether it's the sound of birds in the morning, the laughter of a grandchild, or the quiet rustling of leaves in the wind, we can cultivate a deeper appreciation for life's richness. This state of quiet observation also extends to our relationships. As we age, we no longer need to engage in every argument or fight every battle. We can let go of the need to have the last word or to always be right. In doing so, we free ourselves from unnecessary conflict and stress, creating space for inner peace. Being a quiet observer allows us to tap into a profound sense of stillness and calm, which brings greater depth to our experiences. As we cultivate this attitude, we may find ourselves more content, even when faced with life's inevitable challenges. However, while it's important to observe life, it's equally essential to actively pursue joy and purpose. This brings us to the next wisdom. 4. Learn to be a quiet observer. 
As we grow older, one of the most valuable shifts in perspective we can make is learning to be a quiet observer. In youth, life is often characterized by action, ambition, and a relentless drive to succeed. We may spend years, even decades, chasing after goals, be it career advancement, material wealth, or social status. As we age, however, our physical energy may no longer be as abundant as it once was, and our priorities naturally begin to change. This is the perfect time to slow down and embrace the wisdom of observation, where we can detach ourselves from constant striving and find contentment in simply being. Learning to be a quiet observer does not mean disengaging from life or adopting a passive attitude. Rather, it reflects a deeper understanding of life's transient nature and the value of appreciating what is unfolding around us without needing to control or compete. This is a higher level of life wisdom that comes with age. When we let go of the need to fight for every victory, we open ourselves to seeing the beauty in everyday moments. Think of a time when you sat on a park bench watching people pass by or observed the changing colors of the leaves in autumn. In such moments of stillness, you are not an active participant, yet you are fully engaged with life, appreciating its richness from a place of calm. This ability to observe without the pressure of constant engagement allows us to see the essence of life, the cycles of growth, change and renewal. By stepping back, we gain a greater understanding of life's impermanence, but also of its beauty and interconnectedness. This quiet observation can extend to our relationships. In our younger years, we may have felt the need to assert our opinions, to win arguments or to prove our point. But with age comes the wisdom of knowing that not every battle is worth fighting. We learn that true strength often lies in silence, when we allow ourselves to listen more and speak less, we foster deeper connections with others. We understand that everyone is on their own journey. And sometimes, the best thing we can do is to observe and support rather than judge or criticize. This quiet attitude toward life helps us find inner peace. It allows us to let go of unnecessary stress, anger and resentment, creating space for tranquility. It also gives life greater depth and meaning. As we observe life, we may notice small, beautiful details that we once overlooked. The laughter of a child, the song of a bird, or the warmth of the sun on our face. These moments, though simple, remind us of the profound beauty that surrounds us, even in the everyday, however. While it's important to cultivate this reflective attitude, life in our later years should not only be about observation. It's also essential to actively seek out and engage in activities that bring joy and fulfillment. This leads us to the next wisdom, working for your own happiness. Five, work for your own happiness. For many people, the transition into retirement can be accompanied by a sense of loss or boredom. After years of working, raising a family and fulfilling responsibilities, the sudden lack of structure can leave some feeling adrift. Yet this stage of life offers an incredible opportunity to rediscover what truly brings happiness and to actively pursue new interests and skills that make life fulfilling. Old age is, in fact, the perfect time to focus on personal growth in ways that may have been impossible during the busier years of career and family obligations. With fewer external demands on our time, we can now invest in ourselves, whether by learning something new, exploring hobbies, or participating in community activities. These pursuits not only provide mental stimulation, but also promote emotional and physical well-being. For example, consider learning a new language or taking up painting. These activities challenge the brain, keeping it sharp and active. At the same time, they offer a sense of accomplishment and pride, reminding us that no matter our age, we are still capable of learning and growing. Engaging in community activities such as volunteering, joining a book club, or attending social events helps combat feelings of isolation and provides opportunities to connect with others 
who share similar interests. Gardening is another wonderful pursuit that many find joy in as they age. Tending to plants, watching them grow, and nurturing life can be incredibly fulfilling. It also provides physical activity, which is essential for maintaining health in old age. The simple act of planting seeds and watching them blossom into flowers or produce offers a powerful metaphor for life itself, an ongoing cycle of growth, care and renewal. Moreover, these meaningful activities contribute to our sense of purpose, which is crucial for happiness. Having a reason to get up in the morning whether it's working on a project, attending a class, or meeting with friends, gives us something to look forward to and keeps our minds engaged. Each new interest we explore brings its own set of challenges and rewards, offering constant surprises and a sense of achievement. In this way, old age becomes not a period of decline, but a time of continual discovery and joy. Amidst this busyness, however, it is important not to forget the most essential person in our lives, ourselves. As we work to cultivate happiness, we must also prioritize our own care and well-being. 6. The most important person to care for is yourself. In our younger years, many of us were accustomed to putting others' needs ahead of our own. Whether it was for the sake of our families, careers, or social responsibilities, we often sacrificed our own happiness, rest, and self-care in service of others. While this may have been necessary at the time, the later years of life present an opportunity to shift the focus back onto ourselves, not out of selfishness, but out of self-preservation and a deep understanding of the importance of self-care. By the time we reach our 60s, 70s or 80s, we have earned the right to prioritize our own well-being. This means taking care of not only our physical health, but also our emotional and mental health. Self-care at this stage of life can take many forms, and it's important to remember that small daily actions can have a profound impact on our overall happiness. For instance, Taking a leisurely walk every day can be a form of both physical exercise and mental relaxation. It allows us to clear our minds, connect with nature, and enjoy the simple pleasure of movement. Similarly, reading a good book, immersing ourselves in a story or gaining new insights stimulates the brain and provides a sense of enrichment. It's also important to indulge in activities that bring us personal joy, whether it's cooking a favorite meal, listening to music, or spending time in a hobby that we love. These small acts of self-care remind us that we deserve to feel good and enjoy life. Additionally, caring for our emotional needs means allowing ourselves time to relax and unwind without feeling guilty about it. We've spent years being productive and responsible. Now it's time to nurture our own well-being. 7. Choose friends especially old friends. As we move through life, friendships take on new levels of significance, particularly as we age. The relationships we cultivate in our later years can be some of the most meaningful and rewarding, providing emotional support, companionship, and a shared history that can bring us comfort and joy. While family remains important, friends, especially old friends who have accompanied us throughout life's many stages, often become even more essential to our mental and emotional well-being. Old friends hold a special place in our hearts because they know us in ways others may not. They have been there through various chapters of our lives, through successes and failures, joys and sorrows. These friendships are built on a foundation of shared memories, understanding and trust. There is no need to explain yourself to old friends. They already understand your past, your values, and your journey. This deep understanding fosters a sense of belonging and emotional safety that is particularly important as we age. At this stage of life, choosing friends who support and uplift us becomes essential. Positive friendships can greatly enhance our mental health, reducing feelings of loneliness, anxiety, and depression. 
As we age, our circle of friends may naturally shrink due to the busy demands of life, geographical separation, or even the loss of loved ones. But the quality of friendships becomes far more important than the quantity. Friends who genuinely care about our well-being, who listen without judgment, and who share in our joys and sorrows are invaluable. Old friends offer a unique kind of companionship. They often share a similar history, having lived through the same cultural events, trends, or life stages. This shared experience provides a depth of connection that newer friendships may not have. For example, reminiscing with an old friend about past adventures, family milestones, or even the struggles of earlier years can reignite memories that bring warmth and laughter, reinforcing the bonds that time has created. However, it's also important to recognize that while old friends are precious, we should remain open to making new connections. Life continues to introduce us to people who can bring fresh perspectives and joys into our lives, and these new friendships can add richness and variety to our social circles. Joining social clubs, volunteering or participating in community events can introduce you to like-minded individuals, expanding your network and helping you stay socially engaged. 8. Remember, if your heart is young, what does age matter? As the years pass, the physical signs of aging, wrinkles, graying hair and slower movement are inevitable. Time leaves its marks on our bodies, but it's our hearts and minds that truly define how we experience life. One of the most profound life wisdoms is understanding that age is just a number and that maintaining a youthful mindset is the real key to living a vibrant and fulfilling life, no matter how old we are. A youthful heart is not measured by the absence of physical limitations, but by the presence of optimism, curiosity, and a zest for life. It's about embracing the future with the same excitement and wonder that we had in our younger years. While the world may expect us to slow down or become more reserved as we grow older, the truth is that many of life's greatest adventures and joys can still be found in this chapter of life, provided we keep our hearts open and our attitudes positive. One of the greatest advantages of growing older is the wisdom we accumulate. The experiences we've gathered over the years equip us with insight and understanding that younger generations may lack. This wisdom allows us to approach life's challenges with greater composure and resilience. We've learned that setbacks are temporary, that failure is often the best teacher, and that happiness is often found in the simplest moments. Yet maintaining a youthful heart means balancing this wisdom with the enthusiasm and curiosity of someone much younger.